he texted me several times. He was very proud of that one. Uh, <laughs> we got an episode coming to you. It's epi- it's hour 19 of Garbage Day. Uh, but before we get to that episode, I just want to say uh, that you know that uh, emote that you've been pasting back and forth to each other? Well, Portex drew it and uh, <laughs> threw it right there up on the screen. Uh, and uh, uh, the first person to donate $40 or more uh, gets this drawing. <laughs> That's right. It's a, it is a watercolor postcard. I will put a T-Rex stamp on it and toast or write something stupid on the back of it. Oh, I have yeah. Yeah. I am so glad. I, I'm so glad me posting that emote <laughs> from that thing led to this. I'm very happy. Uh, so, uh, so uh, having a moment of trouble with the uh, stream, we will definitely get it fixed uh, real soon. Uh, but forty dollars or more. Uh, and you can get this emote uh, from Portex. Nutshell, what do you got? Hello, yes! Welcome, <laughs> welcome to Garbage Day! It's three oh, in wow. the morning! Obviously, <laughs> a good time for making snack. So, oh, yeah. um, I and some of the other luminaries of the, the, the food world will be making delicious goodies <laughs> for you! Oh my god! Uh, sorry, I gotta cut in one more time to say that the prize has been claimed. It's fine. <laughs> oh, uh, the prize has been claimed twice. Poor Tech, you're gonna have to draw another one. Uh, that's fine. I guess I'll do that. <laughs> I will make. I will make one that does not quite look like that one, so they'll all be unique. <laughs> you're gonna be drawing. You're gonna be drawing uh, one more of those. Uh, Public Enemy Number Six. Holy shit! Uh, so let's give me the drawing uh, and postcard <laughs> meets Vortex uh, says anti-vehicular. All right, all right. We'll get a we'll get a bonus one. I do have I do have a card left to do the song. This this delightful document has been submitted to us by me, who is who is good enough to have joined us in the studio today to, to help help. Help us learn how to cook these delicate and complicated recipes. I, I totally forgot I made this doc until an hour ago, so... <laughs> yeah. Good morning, yeah. motherfucker! Look upon the work you created in despair. We dream discovery for everybody. <laughs> and, and meet as, as our guest of honor. Could you... Could you please read us the first recipe for the the banana burrito? Yes, yes. Intro. Banana burrito. A banana burrito is a simple variant on the classic banana sandwich. It's a healthy snack and especially convenient during the morning rush. What I like best about using the wrap is that everything is contained, so you can take it in the car, even eating it with one hand. Kids like it because it tastes good and is fun to eat. Moms like it because it's cheap, easy, and healthy. Because it's a burrito (laughs) and banana. Right. (laughs) All those things describe burrito banana. Would Mm -hmm. would you say it's kid-tested, (gasps) mother-approved? <laughs> Probably not. You're going to hear in a moment. Okay. Step one g- gather the ingredients. Banana, half or whole, depending on the size of your wrap. Hmm. Number two, peanut butter. Number three, honey. Number four, tortilla wrap. Number five, everybody knows this is the perfect last ingredient flaxseed. Mm. <laughs> Yum, Crunchy. Yum. Nothing kids like better than flaxseed. Yeah. Kids love flaxseed. <laughs> kids, that's <laughs> <laughs> It adds a soup sort of, of crunch. <laughs> yeah. Fucking chia seeds are last year. <laughs> yeah, it also doesn't get everywhere if you bite into it and the burrito breaks. <laughs> yeah. Peanut butter packs a lot of sugar, but also a lot of protein. You can use natural peanut butters or alternatives like almond butter to get around the sugar and hydrogenated oils. Use whole wheat wraps to boost your daily grain intake and sprinkle flaxseed to get the jolt of omega-3 fatty acids. The banana is a great source for vitamin B6, vitamin C, and potassium. So uh, how to make it is essentially make a burrito. (laughs) Ah. 
Okay, but I think like, I can do that. Can we go to WikiHow to figure out how to? <laughs> you're, su- you're supposed to heat the wrap and the honey in the microwave. So, together. So, good luck. Uh, no. You're not supposed to do that. No, the statute clearly do. says. I don't, don't want to. You I must. Like this, I feel like the step three says lay down a swath of peanut butter. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Swath. Put it in your hands and wipe it on the banana. And then you, you use it as glue. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, step four is just how to fold a tortilla. It, it just that's it. Fold the pictures. <laughs> I can't do this without pictures. Oh, uh, you can look at the picture. It's gonna look like half a banana on a tortilla <laughs> with a bunch of flaxseed on it. Yeah, <laughs> great, <laughs> yum yum. Oh my god, yeah. Can we? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Can yeah, I mix? Can... can I mix the peanut butter and the honey together first? No. no. The, the image suggests no. No substitution. Lovely, wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Meat. Um, no problem. Toast, darling toast. Mm. Yes. Um, I, I have, I have a, a food that has your name on it. Literally, can you please tell us a little bit about bacon toaster pastries? All right. All right, you donuts. You dumb <laughs> All right. We're going to learn how to make bacon toaster pas- pastries. <laughs> Emma wish you could just have bacon on the go. I know I have. It's the perfect Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> trying to drive with bacon grease on your fingers only leads to disaster. Donk, donkey. <laughs> sure you can. 12 sure people dead. <laughs> Trust me. Sure, you can put it on a biscuit, but that is just so ordinary. Why not combine <laughs> bacon with a well-established breakfast food delivery system? Since you're yeah, that why not? A cookie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put it on a digestive. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer: I do not recommend doing anything other than driving when driving. You will have an accident. <laughs> Thanks. Really <Donut. laughs> emphasizing this point. All right, <laughs> driving is the most important part of bacon. Make it pop tart or whatever this is. Well, there's no other possible way to eat your breakfast other than in the car. That is true. <laughs> Me with a tire stack of waffles just jammed into my gullet. Doing right. I mean, you make your breakfast down, then, down then the autobahn. Get out the car, and then you eat it in the car, and then you come back in and have the rest of your day. <laughs> All right, we we're gonna need our ingredients. So, like, lay out your bacon, your pie crust, your cheese. Any grape jelly. Uh-huh. All right. You're going to need your oven. You're going to need a stovetop, a skillet, a tray, glass bowls, enough for your bacon filling. That's <laughs> ominous. No. Um, <laughs> <for my bacon. laughs> We're going to need a, a, a grater for some reason. No. <laughs> That's for the bowl. That's for the grape jelly. <laughs> We're gonna need you gotta need either a tong, a fork, or a spatula for flipping the bacon. So I guess use my bare fucking hands. I guess use your straight metal for that. <laughs> gonna need a plate and a paper towel for soaking up the bacon grease. All right, first well, we're gonna thaw the pie crust. Set up the pie crust before we start. This will give it enough time to thaw while you cook the bacon. Uh what the fuck, Britain? Is everything a pie to you? Well, <laughs> other than other than baked can. beans, I baked beans are in a pie. <laughs> oh, although I bet the British make Heinz baked beans pies. No, they <laughs> sure they do. Let's look it up. Everything's <laughs> in a pie Short. except for dessert. The dessert make, is all you know, pudding. Is pie? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, okay. So he do, so this person just described oh. cooking bacon. Uh, they save the extra beast for. Grease for bacon gravy, good for them. For your listening pressure, here's the sound of bacon frying. <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> ASMR, I guess, <laughs> motivates you. You gotta All cast right, so, a pie net these days. Real, real quick, from the chat, uh, somebody linked a baked bean pie recipe. Yep, yep, Amy yep. found one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sainsbury, no less. Yum, yeah, yeah. yum. You, you asked British. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're, we're making a bacon filling. So we've broken up the bacon, oh, bacon filling, filling time. Make your filling. If you plan to put anything in your pop top beyond bacon, you would mix them during this step. If you make bacon gravy, you can add a tablespoon or two to the mixture. To make a sweeter mix, add two teaspoons of grape jelly Ooh. to the bacon. 
Gordon, Hell, I wasn't yeah. I wasn't aware you were from Brooklyn. That's delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and uh, Amy says the next steps are uninteresting and didn't list them. So, step 10, top and eat. While the toasted pastries are still warm, grate some cheese on top of them or smother them in bacon gravy. No. After, after the bacon toast, yes, you will. Do it. Right <laughs> now. Sorry, sir. You will fail this challenge. <laughs> <laughs> after the bacon toasted pastries have cooled, consume the bacon filled pie crusts. Consume. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, okay. I'd assume. So, any I did not finish kept well in a container in the refrigerator until the next day. And then, what did you do with it? <laughs> Prank a friend. <laughs> oh goodness, that sounds that sounds absolutely delightful, but perhaps a little bit um heavy and not the healthiest thing. So, so lemon, yeah, lemon. Could mm. you could you uh? Take us in a, a lighter, healthier direction with the gluten and grain-free carrot pasta, healthy and handmade. Oh yeah! Mm -hmm. Keyword jamming your hashtag food hashtag eat hashtag. All right, <laughs> Dude, uh, this is, don't this is, scroll down to the picture. Y'all, y'all, okay. It's uh, it's five in the morning for me, but I hope y'all are, are are excited about uh, uh, something delicious because this is the gluten and grain free carrot pasta, healthy and handmade. Mm. I wanted to make zucchini pasta, but when I checked the refrigerator, there was no more. Refrigerators. <laughs> Why did you want to make it if you had it already in the fridge, though? Old mother zucchini pasta. Oh shit! I got some. <laughs> recipe I've ever seen. Well, so I decided to make carrot pasta instead, since I had a lot of carrots. I tried it out. Uh, delicious and quick. This recipe is also grain and gluten free. Okay. Step one: ingredients. Here's what you're gonna need: whole carrots. All right. Right. Okay, then you're going to need, and remember, I'm in the ingredients category, right? Oh, right. dear. Yeah, so you're going to need a potato peeler. Potato. <laughs> My goodness. Well, that's one way to get your minerals. And potato, and potato is spelled the Dan Quayle way. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> or a uh, after that, pasta sauce, whatever. <laughs> Just fucking... Dinner, 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 dinner. <laughs> Just, just some pasta sauce, uh, cheese yeah. uh, of any description. Who cares? No. <laughs> just get like a free. And then, of course, uh, Jack Chick, you've made uh, you've made uh, pasta before, haven't you? Yeah, I made it fairly re re recently. Yeah, well. right. Yeah, so you understand that another ingredient that you need in pasta is a steamer or a double boiler. Yeah, no, <laughs> absolutely. You uh, so you you you. You steam the pasta first, and right. then you melt the steamer down, and then pour that as extra sauce over the pasta. All right. Okay. Great. So, Delicious. Uh, okay. So here's how you do it. You're gonna wash the wash and rub your carrots. <laughs> then you're gonna start to remove the outer skin of the carrots until the dark wrinkles are off. Uh, uh, step number three to this: you could use a potato peeler, and it's still spilled <laughs> the e on the. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it really is Dan Coyle right just, now. It's just shy of pluralization. So it's uh, to make potato carrot... in the European style. <laughs> <laughs> well, then the O and the E should be connected. <laughs> potato. <laughs> yeah, potato. Uh, to make the carrot needle. Uh, sorry, the carrot noodles. Uh, you're going to use a zester, potato peeler, and start scraping the carrot in one direction until you get enough noodles to feed. Why is carrot capitalized? So... Uh, the carrot. The one carrot. The kakarot. Yeah. <laughs> Once the carrot gets very small, not enough, uh, not long enough to make noodles, eat it or set it aside. And it's easy as that. Forget okay. it. It's there forever now. It's easy as that. It's easy as that. Uh, uh, now my uh, next part is um, uh, I tell you how to boil. I tell you how to make boil pasta incorrectly. <laughs> yeah, good. Enjoying that. <laughs> just gonna actually, you know, I'm just gonna put up over that <laughs> because uh, boil pasta incorrectly. Uh, and then step four results. Mm, okay, this yum, is yum. a very quick and easy way of making gra grain and gluten-free pasta. The t this tastes delicious and is great for any leftover carrots. I hope you try out this quick and simple recipe. 
Uh, I hope I don't. I'm so I was, uh, was going to yeah. try this out with pesto and nacho cheese. Do you think that combination would work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're going to want to put uh, the look very dust on top <laughs> instead of Parmesan. <laughs> so you're just getting two Cheetos and just smushing them together, grinding them down. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like an I'm offensive. Sorry, are you not familiar with hot cuisine? <laughs> <laughs> um, this was this was a pretty good rep recipe, but I used my own substitution and made bacon pop tarts instead. <laughs> <laughs> Five stars. What kind of cheese did you put on them? <laughs> well, thank you for that. <laughs> that frankly horrifying recipe, Lemon. <laughs> You're um, welcome. An increasingly like, scared Julian yeah, child wants to escape. <laughs> I, I feel traumatized after hearing it, so perhaps I could use something like this next recipe. Um, uh, uh Portax. Yeah. Hey, hi, Julia. Big fan. I was shaking your hand here. Big fan. Big fan. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Yeah, yes. Um, <laughs> could you tell me about your special medicated rice crispy treats? Oh, I can tell you. <laughs> medicated rice crispy treats, non GMO and gluten free. <laughs> medicated. <laughs> <laughs> Living in Colorado these days has some amazing benefits. <laughs> Winky face. Mm -hmm. Being able to fight chronic pain with the chronic is just one of ah, many. Yeah. Amazing. No one has Good ever one. used that word play. I invented Good it. One. I am stuck on this bus with this person and I stop at five, <laughs> yeah. five stops I'm like, away. I'm over your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a door-to-door -door squeegee salesman. How's about you? <laughs> we also have more breweries than any other state by capita. Anyway, uh, that aside, I have decided to dive into the world of edibles with this non-GMO gluten-free treat, and I have to say that it was delicious. This is actually a two-part recipe. And so I also included the trail mix I created with the Rice Krispie Treats. Uh, the video shows everything. But you can eat Rice Krispie Really excited about this two for one recipe. Yep, yep. It's two for two for right here. Step one: Rice Krispie Treats recipe. <laughs> Ingredients: ten ounces Dandy's vegan marshmallows, four cups Barbara's organic brown rice crisps, oh, six ounces Trader Joe's butter, seven grams Golden Go marijuana sativa uh, utensils, three quart saucepan. 13 by 9 inch Pyrex dish, uh, a butter knife, and a spatula. Yep, you got your spats going. Uh, directions. <laughs> Set your burner on low heat and add the butter. Uh, grind your marijuana into a fine powder and sprinkle it on the melting butter. Once the two have slowly combined, added the marshmallows. <laughs> Do it. Uh, stir continuously until the marshmallow starts to melt. Coat them well with butter as you go. I guess we're in the car with the other guy with the bacon grease. <laughs> Just in the back seat. <laughs> hey, what you doing? You want some of these? No, you're mess treat some of the <laughs> no, you're messing it up. No, <laughs> God, God slip. God, God fucking damn it. That's the rest of the got to be a dog's dinner. <laughs> clip like in Texas, the driving cat. Um, <laughs> oh, no. When the mixture is creamy, slowly add your crispies, stirring as you go. Uh, once all the ingredients have fully blended, transfer them into your Pyrex dish. Uh, spread evenly with the spatula. Uh, sit, let's sit for 15 minutes. Cut and eat. <laughs> yeah. No thanks. Uh, uh -huh. uh, in hindsight, I would have added hemp hearts, sunflower seeds, cashews, or other ingredients to add the great taste. Uh, I'll save that for next time. Uh, these Rice Krispie treats are not like the official treats <laughs> you buy at the convenience store. <laughs> they're not uh for i don't know there's something about them that's just slightly different uh the, the groovy marshmallows i used uh do not have the fluffers yoga mat material i'm just mentioning that uh the other brand ads mm, they are i just love putting as, yoga mats in my food i love <laughs> yoga mats well, that's what down dog is for to eat a little get a little snack of your mat <laughs> 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 they are just as tasty, just not as foamy. Mm. I used a portion of my treats to make a trail mix, which can be viewed in the video or the next page. 
Can you can you tell what, uh, us more it... about those Rice Krispie treat trail mix? Oh yeah, garlic. I got bags and bags of them. I got you know <laughs> the, the bag with a dollar sign on it, full of just trail mix. Mm -mm, put it in your face area. <laughs> Using a portion of my treats, I added fruit nuts and pretzels. Uh, there are a great many of combinations you can use to make a great mix. Uh, this is just an idea of combinations. Uh, ingredients: apricots, uh, dry roasted peanuts, pretzels. Uh, directions: Grab whatever you got in the cupboard. To mix to taste. Uh, oh, step okay, two. Okay, okay. Chicken so, liver so that I've saved in the freezer. So hang on. Let me look in my cupboard here. Okay, looks like I got some furikake. Uh, goes in. Some, <laughs> some black beans oh, in a Oh, shit. Can. Put that in there. Fuck me up <laughs> with a fan. Some sauce. Pour it all in by the gallon. Glug, glug. And a whole bunch of Marmite. <laughs> all the Marmite. Go to the yeah. store and get a bonus Marmite. Stick yeah. it in there. It's I not would... like the official Rice Krispie Treats. <laughs> I know they Trail suggest... mix. I know they suggested hemp hearts, but I think hemp hearts covenant is way better. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for that delightful <laughs> recipe. Um, uh, sanguinary. Oh yeah. I I believe that uh, you and your 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 son that we've heard so much about um have some. <laughs> food preferences that that come up during the holidays could you tell us more about that yeah it's guy ferrari here and we're gonna take you oh, back to flavor guy town ferrari. with my son <laughs> <laughs> my son is guy ferrari with guy ferrari face guy ferrari with guy ferrari face ferrari with guy ferrari face make it happen it's awful so, right i'm talking to the artist i'm talking to science just in general make it happen <laughs> I think he could totally be down with that. It's carry, it's engine-y, it's driving. <laughs> it's driving? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So my son's always been addicted to corn dogs. We gotta cut back on his corn dog intake. So before <laughs> we had dog, his blood were too Jesus. high. I need more! Don't <laughs> make It's just the fucking Pigs is Pigs cartoon, but with corn dogs. <laughs> Considering he hadn't had very many this year, I decided his birthday would be bombastic and be a perfect time to make a night special with the corn dog pizza. We're gonna bring the fuck with this pizza. This pizza was a fun family night dinner, and so you can get the whole family involved. Serve it on a, <laughs> serve it on a trash can lid. Involve making it... <laughs> That's the fun with dipping sauces, too. I love Ooh, ruining my child's birthday. <laughs> bring on the corn, what bring on the dog. needs to come back. <laughs> All right, huh, step one, making the pizza sauce. Things needed. You're going to need four cups of chopped onions. Boom. One tablespoon of garlic powder. Bam. One teaspoon or a tablespoon of flour. A tablespoon of olive oil. 16 ounces of tomato sauce, Hell yeah. 8 ounces of water, Fuck yeah, 2, tables two <laughs> tablespoons uh, of corn syrup. Uh, just, so you, just so you know, Guy Ferrari, uh, when, when you shouted BAM, uh, Emerald uh, Lamborghini Emerald is going to see you. <laughs> Challenge you to a race. Dead man's Look, curve at dawn. Look, it's 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 five thirty in the morning. I have no. a notepad document open on the side with a bunch of Guy Ferrari sayings in it. I'm doing my best. <laughs> but that is Emerald and Guy Whatever. <laughs> All right. Emerald Lamborghini. Every Emerald Lamborghini player. Respect the garage with a bunch of bookshelves. <laughs> <laughs> two bay leaves an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper get any Ooh, less than that too spicy. We... oh i know <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right you're gonna mix all these ingredients except the onions garlic and oil in a bowl then you're gonna saute the onions and oil on low add the garlic powder and keep stirring until the onions are tender add the flour and stir for a minute Add the ingredients you have mixed up in a bowl in step one and simmer for 50 minutes. That's the real deal here. If it gets really thick, add more water. That's... Remove the bay leaves. Set aside to put on top of your pizza crust later. That's a lot of bay leaves. Uh, the uh, bay leaves. An amount of, uh, yeah. Oops, sorry, I broke character. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of bay leaves for such a tiny amount of sauce, my dear. It's going to be redolent of of the bay. 
<laughs> not, not enough Bailey's for Guy Ferrari's engine. He needs more. <laughs> Top him off. <laughs> I, He's become too powerful. <laughs> my door one year. <laughs> this is a nightmare pizza. All right, now making the pizza crust. We're going to um, really bring this into the hot tub of Flavor Town. <laughs> Can I, just, can I just point out real quick that there's a picture and it's the hot dogs on the pizza crust looks like you're trying to summon like the hot dog old god here. <laughs> like a ritual. Yes. <laughs> what happens when your perfect marriage of mad and machine? <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we summoned Guy Ferrari, so so it worked. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. This is horrible looking. <laughs> he just drives into the dives. It's <laughs> like it's <laughs> not wanted to be a food hot dog beast. No, no, no. This is the real deal. This is the real deal for certain. It's going to be two boxes of Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. I One feel like this pizza is too real, if anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to show up in your house in the morning and you're not going to know where it came from. <laughs> 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 Alright, one and one third cup of flour for extra for dusting. About one and one third cup of water. Four tablespoons of olive oil. Ten hot dogs! Five glass <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mix the jiffy corn mux and mix. Flour, oil, and slowly add the water into a bowl until the dough is not sticky. Roll out the dough on a du flour dusted table. Make it larger than the pan. That's larger than life. Add your oil. Place the hot dogs on the outside in a circle, or in this case, a hexagon. <laughs> it loses flavor if you turn it to a <laughs> Fuck you, a pentagon is gross. That's just gonna be bad. <laughs> Inside of the circle, cover the hot dog, the one hot dog. So, fuck him. Bake him 400 <laughs> degrees for 12 minutes. Take it out and add the toppings and sauce, and that is going to be Slamma Jamma Delicious. <laughs> Ooh, is that a new catchphrase you have? Slamma Jamma Delicious. <laughs> all right, we're going to put this all together. It's going to be lights out delicious. <laughs> Oh, no, it's lights out, slam it <laughs> Take your crust and add the sauce you made. Top it with even more cut up hot dogs and shredded cheese. Oh and for another 10 minutes, and that's bananas. And bananas already. And then add more hot dogs. Every time this guy gets confused in the kitchen, you, oh, more hot dogs. Ah. <laughs> Oh, I, I can't wait to hear about the delightful dipping sauces you've made. I'm sure they all go perfectly. Oh, How much hot dog is used in the dipping pizza. sauce? Oh, every time I want to trip to Flavor Town, Julia, I have a I'm question. I have a question. Now, obviously, uh, we, as we all know, a good pizza needs a good dipping sauce. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's just a good thing to have with your pizza. Is, is there like one, maybe one dipping sauce? <laughs> the sure. combination Canes and Pizza Hut. Have you never heard of There's a one sauce that you're very familiar with. How about this slamming pink donkey sauce that I have? It's one tablespoon of Miracle Whip and one tablespoon of ketchup. Mm. Hell yeah. Mm. Pink me up. <laughs> 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 oh, it's Thanksgiving. Then we got to bring out the cranberry. Put some honey mustard in it. We got two tablespoons of cranberry sauce, a tablespoon of honey, a tablespoon of mustard. Mmm, funkalicious, delicious cranberry. <laughs> <laughs> What's this you had in your fridge? <laughs> yeah, that's where that goes. Heat it in the oven until it's very viscous. <laughs> Look, I've been on the road. I've been eating a lot of shitty foods. This is all I got. The condiments last forever. None of them go bad. So you want to see what I have left over from, from the Chinese restaurant? There's honey, there's mustard. Ooh, cranberry. No, no, no. no. <laughs> We're going to make our own custom sweet and sour. You just need a fourth a cup of grape jelly and a fourth a cup of ketchup. Oh, <laughs> that is not. God that damn is it. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Not even now, a good try, really. Now, the thing is, this corn dog pizza sounds delicious, Guy Ferrari. But so what if sour. I wanted to what if I wanted it to taste like peanuts? <laughs> oh, we got some peanut sauce. Oh, we got two tablespoons of creamy peanut butter, which you totally get. You're a smart one. How about a fourth mm -hmm. a cup of prepared Asian sesame salad dressing? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that, that sounds that delightful. Uh, wait, okay. So, so what if I what if I want a cheese sauce? But what if I want like a lot of cheese oh, sauce? Man. <laughs> you want like, the most cheese sauce? Like a lot. Of cheese sauce. Oh, man, you want, <laughs> you want a cheddar cheese sauce that is out of bounds with delicious flavor? We got one can of condensed cheddar cheese soup, half a oh. cup of milk. Oh, one yeah. cup of shredded cheese oh. and then a half a tablespoon of dry mustard. Oh yeah, that's right. Good sauce right there. Mm-hmm. Oh, can I can I just sprinkle the pizza with the dry mustard? <laughs> they must well, be combined. I'm the not inviting the pizza. It's on the car. <laughs> that's that's a delightful recipe. Thank you so much, Mr. Ferrari. <laughs> and, and, and in keeping in we keeping got a twenty dollar the donation from my girlfriend is Legos. Yeah, I was gonna. I was my say, girlfriend is Lego. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's my favorite uh, show on like TLC. Hell, my girlfriend is Lego. <laughs> I don't know anything about my show. girlfriend is Legos, but I like your gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more. <laughs> Keeping with the theme of hot dogs and doing terrible things to ostensibly Italian food, um, Zola, could you please tell us more about the gourmet hot dog Alfredo? Ooh. <laughs> oh, what? Mm, oh, I would. <laughs> I would love four words to. I didn't expect to hear in sequence. <laughs> gourmet hot I dog would Alfredo. love to. Oh, fuck the photo. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, photo. <laughs> Oh God! Oh God! We post this? Good <laughs> the photo. Lord. The photo. Oh God! <laughs> Looks like a goddamn nightmare. It's <laughs> to scrolling down to that. I like yeah, you're photo. gonna you're gonna love that. Please give us your play by play by play reaction as soon as you get to that part. I like the photo on the side. It's just the noodles and the hot dog sitting on a plate. It's like, look at what you have done. <laughs> I dare say what freak has wrought. I know you're probably raising your eyebrows right now, but please give this recipe a try. My husband scarfed this down like it was his last meal. And I asked him to eat it again. It probably was. (laughs) (laughs) Eat this, then choose death. When I asked him if he would eat it again, he asked me, is tomorrow too soon? (laughs) (laughs) Honey, what's that that in your mouth while you're saying that? (laughs) Uh, I think this is another emote that needs to be posted, so (laughs) there you go, everyone. uh, I think your taste buds will be delighted, too. Like, seven-part, like, investigative podcast series into the hubbies of these <laughs> oh, God, yes, please. His hubby seems to have some problems. You know, his, his, his hubby is just one of these people who eats nothing but Soylent, so he's like, hey, this is actual food. <laughs> Step up. This has way more flavor than my gamer said. <laughs> this serves one. Ingredients, one container instant ramen noodles, cup style, oh. any flavor. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, I sure do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Two ounces of cream cheese, softened. Oh, no. <laughs> one oh, teaspoon of butter. Two uh, teaspoons <laughs> Two teaspoons of dry, non-fat milk. Hell yeah. Uh, You're hurting <laughs> me. A pinch of garlic powder. <laughs> one mm-hmm. tablespoon of shredded Parmesan cheese. And one or two two hot dogs. That is how you make Alfredo sauce. <laughs> you need you that extra it. hot dog flavor, don't worry. If I don't have any hot dogs... Dog, it's a backup <laughs> hot dog in case you mess up the first bonus <laughs> hot dog. If That's I don't a- have any hot dogs, can I use chorizo? <laughs> <laughs> Put the cream cheese and butter in the microwave from Microwave Roo. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> microwave bring, Roo. <laughs> bring that back. You fucking idiot. Grill one or two hot dogs, depending on your appetite. Oh, wink. Well. Cut the hot dogs in diagonal slices. Place in a bowl and set aside. Prepare the ramen. Presentation is important. Yes, (laughs) this is a very classy Alfredo. Gotta cut them on the bias. Prepare the ramen noodles exactly (laughs) as directed on the label. In the (laughs) microwave. If it's not, if you if you don't wait exactly three minutes watching it every moment, I swear to God. (laughs) What if I just want to leave it dry as a brick? (laughs) 
as the initial ramen brick and no, get the no, flavor. No, it's 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 the, it's the little dehydrated shrimpies, I think, add to the hot dog flavor. If you ruin this step, you might as well just throw all the rest of it away. <laughs> There's no coming back from this. When the noodles are fully cooked, drain them over a small saucepan. Put the cooked noodles back into the original container cup and close the lid to keep it warm. No. No. <laughs> no. It's a fine uterus for this beast. <laughs> <laughs> must be contained. You should have a to, the to bring about the to bring about the evil god. You've completed the dark ritual. You must be contained. <laughs> you, you can only Some open it up in the presence of your enemies. <laughs> <laughs> this hot dog Alfredo was foretold by Gyromancy. <laughs> that was for you. That's, why it's, that's why it's so good. Yes, thank yeah. you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> Put the softened cream cheese in a small bowl. Add one tablespoon ramen broth. I thought we'd drain them. Uh, and stir well until the mixture is creamy. Add the dried uh, non-fat milk and continue stirring until smooth. No. <laughs> Spoon the cream cheese mixture into the remaining ramen broth in the pan. Use a wooden spoon and mix well. Turn the stovetop burner to medium high and bring the sauce to a simmer. Add the garlic powder and butter. Reduce heat to low. Simmer, stirring constantly until the sauce is reduced to your preferred right. consistency. <laughs> Non-existent. <laughs> How? <laughs> Tempted by chaos it. itself. Just do it. <laughs> and then the next time I'm in the States, I'm making this for you. Okay. <laughs> Make the Alfredo. You I do it. I love, I, love, I love the first bite of an Alfredo sauce. <laughs> You've avoided one disaster. Please do not bring a second. Place a half of the warm ramen noodles into a serving bowl. Scatter with one half of the sliced hot dogs. Drizzle with one half of the hot Alfredo sauce. Top with the remaining ramen noodles, hot dogs, and Alfredo sauce. Sprinkle I've never been bothered by the cheese. word drizzle before, but now I am. <laughs> This, this picture was definitely worth the anticipation. Oh yeah, this, yeah, look at that. Oh, Lord. <laughs> mm. I sneezed out your breakfast. <laughs> you, got, you, got your college, you got your college ramen. Cut up some hot dogs in it. And then something terrible happened to it. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like well, somebody brought this to every potluck, I remember. And it's oh, just, yeah. everybody would look at it and just be like, what the hell? Well, they <laughs> brought <laughs> about it. <laughs> That's delightful, dear. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, I, th I think maybe it's it's time for a little dessert, something something to kind of take the edge off of what of what came before. But um, goodness, uh, Jack Chick. Yes. Um, you you like being healthy, don't you? Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> good. <laughs> Um, could you please, could you please oh, then wow. instruct us in the the what they the, did to my boy, in the creation of the healthiest cupcake in the world? <laughs> the healthiest? Wow! In the world! Exclamation point! Absolutely, yeah. cupcakes in the world. I am, I am the healthiest cupcake in the world. <laughs> Intro, the healthiest cupcake in the world. Hist, ere my fain ein saw yon cupcakes, oh, my brain no. had fi. No. Oh, oh, this puzzle took me forever in seventh guest. Get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> this was so cans. God, these new, drag Williams. these new Dragon Quest translations are really bad. <laughs> 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 then I took the bright betimes. <laughs> Yikes! Yikes. Uh -oh. Soon I wist forthwith that yon cupcakes were peradventure. Haunting the stream with this thing. It just keeps doing a plot. Experience it. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, Guzzler. Aye, 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 aye. What you're about to learn will change your life forever. No butter, no sucrose, no lactose, and no additional sodium. So no say, goodbye to the, so uh, goodbye, say goodbye. Say goodbye to the you already clogged fats. That's have a flavor. <laughs> So did like a medieval bard walk into your room and then you had to change it out? <laughs> yeah, why, did you, why did you drop the affectation? Was... 
<laughs> get out of here. Get. S- say goodbye to the artery clogging, saturated fats, the Hello. overused white sugar and salt, the uncomfortable lactose, and say hello to two and a half servings of vegetables, oh, two and a half servings of fruit. Oh yeah, that's my favorite number of servings of vegetables and fruit. Hi. That's all yeah. a whole day's worth of fruits and vegetables in one batch of the healthiest cupcake in the world. Eat all eight though. Where are you going with this accent, Jack? Chick? I, I don't know. Let's <laughs> <laughs> okay. together. Did do. <laughs> oh yes, those those definitely look healthy. <laughs> Play like. You gotta eat a whole batch. Uh, how many? You know how what many looks like? Oh, I have no <laughs> what, what does know it look like? like? <laughs> what? 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 I don't know. What does it look like? It looks like poo poo. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Protax, my dear, you may need to see a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It still looks like good poo poo. like poo poo. <laughs> All right, all right. You guys want some ingredients? No, yeah. I just want to keep hearing the facts that. <laughs> well, you, you, you bad do that. <laughs> you bad do that. That is something you said. I like where this is going. Like, it's, like a, it's like a hitchhiker. <laughs> this is what he like, says as soon as you pick him up. Like Paul Prudhomme or something. Like, <laughs> one cup flour. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder, two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two tablespoons sugar-free applesauce, one banana, one kiwi, one handful blueberries, one cup baby spinach, one quarter to one half cup broccoli, one quarter to one half cup baby carrots, and one splash of almond milk. And you know, you you can have whatever fruits or vegetables you desire. This is uh, you know, this is a health food recipe. Fuck it, just throw whatever. In there. <laughs> just whatever you got. Okay, so if insane. you cram all those things into a ball, like that's gonna be like the hardest surface on earth. <laughs> <laughs> How many durians am I allowed to add to this? <laughs> so Thanks. so so step one, this is a health food recipe. So step one. Put all the fruits and vegetables in a blender with a splash of milk, and then just you know blend that shit up. Can you use lactose spray? For that? <laughs> lactose spray. Yeah, I mean, I use I use lactose free almond milk because because you know I don't like all that milk. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> blend the fruits and vegetables. The smoothie should be thick and green. You need to add more spinach to get the desired greenness. Boy. Now add the flour, eggs, powder, vanilla, that. applesauce, etc. Stir, mix, full, blend, right. whatever you desire to make it look like a batter. <laughs> whatever. Every, just, every good recipe should have et cetera in there. Yeah, no, 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 you know yeah, what no whatever. It's not a science. It's fine. Just throw it, it looks like batter somehow. Look, they're just trying to teach improvisational cooking. Come on, guys. <laughs> just kick it around like a soccer ball. <laughs> Drop it down the stairs. That's how so, you know it's done. So <laughs> throw it I into a fan. Send it to college. <laughs> Pour, pour some of all of the smoothie, depending on preferences. Less will make the batter thicker, more will make it thinner. I don't mm-hmm. know where we're pouring this, but you know it's fine. Down the drain. So the we're floor. gonna we're gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Spelled so wrong, I can't even imagine. It. <laughs> like Fahrenheit, but Fahrenheit. Putting it in the chat. Welcome <laughs> traveling Fahrenheit. <laughs> oh, it's totally the name of the bar that took over the recipe. Ah, <laughs> there's continuity in this recipe. Uh, then you know, Pam the cupcake, Pam. Use any other the, break. Pour <laughs> the, no, just Pam. <laughs> then, uh, hey kids, it's, it's Pam the healthiest. The, it's Pam the cupcake, Pam. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> pour, the, pour the batter in about a half to two thirds full. Cook for twenty men, and then take out of the oven and enjoy. And then that was that was just six five. Oops. <laughs> that's, that's, that's wonderful, darling. Um, but your cupcakes seem a little plain. What what do you do to decorate them? Oh <laughs> yeah, no, no. Okay, yeah. So I would recommend a buttercream frosting to put on the cake. <laughs> but, uh, the healthiest frosting, <laughs> yeah, in the in world. The world. <laughs> considering I don't, I don't have any. I made up a couple of alternatives. Yeah. So oh, no you. butter, but buttercream frosting. Got it. <laughs> so, so first off, we got whipped cream. 
<laughs> that's you know lactose free whipped cream. <laughs> Exclamation <very> point, bro. <laughs> whipped cream. Oh, very excited about whipped cream. Whipped cream. <laughs> uh, honey blueberry glaze, which is just blueberries and honey in a blender. Uh, <laughs> stra- <laughs> strawberry yogurt, or or a Christmas tree. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> is it the, one of the plastic trees or is it like <laughs> no I'm, I'm not i'm not gonna explain that okay that's fine <laughs> you figure it out well yeah, the christmas trees. <laughs> <laughs> um that's uh that, that's quite a recipe and i am i'm afraid you've used up so many fruits and vegetables in it. This this <laughs> next recipe doesn't Yay, have any fruits and again. vegetables in it at all, even though it's a salad. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. uh, oh, oh, wow! <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, uh, sanguinary. Um, could you please um read for us this this delightful recipe for a Swiss roll salad? I think uh, Guy Ferrari's had a good time. Do you want to bring in Zarla, given the time we have? Mm-hmm. Sure. I... We, can have, we can have both. Read it simultaneously, actually. Oh, God. <laughs> oh no. I just want to give everyone a chance to read, and Zarla hasn't had a chance. No, I have. Oh, did you? I yeah, I, I read the hot dog Alfredo. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. What happened to my brain? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. God. He blocked it out. He blocked it out. <laughs> Oh god. All right. Guy Ferrari back. Just tearing into the room. <laughs> Screeching tires. My car. Boom. The You're salad okay, it in. My it was have a giant bad arms out of his head. <laughs> have your own face tattooed on your bicep. <laughs> yeah, when I flex, he smiles. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> all right this is still my favorite ingredients we're gonna put all these ingredients in a big old hot tub One <laughs> 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 oh, like the secret level of toe jam and earl <laughs> i think i would rather eat the secret level of toe jam and earl <laughs> probably healthier all right we're gonna put one kilogram and a half of potatoes Boiled and smashed as puree. Yeah. I know it says Swiss roll and it's capitalized, and we're already confused, but don't worry. Uh, I trust you, I trust you with my life. Shout outs to Moxie drawing the final pan, trying to cook yeah. it. Yes. I will fix the recipe. I shall fix the recipe. No, baby, it's different no. size. <laughs> the recipe is too small. Oh, God. <laughs> this filling can be adapted according to your taste. This is the basic one three boiled eggs <laughs> <laughs> with a pinch of salt and pepper. Mm. Put that you shit on a flip eggs? flop. Two box of tuna, <laughs> ketchup, and mayonnaise. Box of what tuna? the fuck is a box of tuna? What's a box of tuna? <laughs> Look, you know how when you're of fishing tuna. for tuna and they show up in the box when you catch them? You have to have them out of the box. So convenient. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah. I'm, I'm Jack, not don't from be, the Midwest. Don't be pretty. Tuna is shelf stable. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got yeah, ketchup and mayonnaise. Right. Natural yogurt. None of this other crappy yogurt. None of this fake yogurt. Natural <laughs> roll. Yogurt. 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 And hot sauce. Not even hot sauce. Donkey sauce. Come on, get it right. Salt, <laughs> pepper, and sugar. Cling film. Oh my god. For rolling the dough. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Commence. Making the sauce. Already. I got a sauce. <laughs> <laughs> let me check. Let me check the toilet tank and see if I got some. <laughs> in a bowl, mix the yogurt, yogurt, mayonnaise, ketchup, and sprinkle salt, pepper, sugar, <laughs> and donkey sauce. <laughs> Set the sauce aside. The filling in a bowl, like beef. Oh, oh, yeah, in a bowl. In a bowl. bowl. In a bowl. bowl. <laughs> <laughs> what is here? <laughs> <laughs> the grated eggs and two tablespoon of the sauce. <laughs> Set the filling aside. Falling apart. Well, we're we're getting it. there. We're getting there, guys. We're gonna make a righteous Swiss roll over the surface. <laughs> so, over the surface, spread the cling film. Then 
over it the potatoes dough. <laughs> uh, 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 It'll be uh, like the Mike potatoes Mark, dough. I gotta yeah. say, step seven is my favorite step. <laughs> <laughs> and then step seven, try and make it like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, there is no it in there. Try to yeah. make like that. Try to try make like that. Try to make like that. These are the kind of steps that make you think. <laughs> Mm. Press gently into the dough. Slam a jam of the dough is ready. Spread <laughs> the filling over the dough. And then I'm, I'm <laughs> imagining Guy Ferrari is like, you know, he's got his big Guy Fieri face on the car, right? And then he's got like the Swedish chef hands just flinging <laughs> stuff left right. I am actually doing that in real life. So just good. <laughs> donkey 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 donkey. <laughs> we think of the edge up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your donation, BB Chops. <laughs> Purple Drop. <laughs> and to really make this lights out delicious, take the edge of the cling film and start rolling as in the image. Oh, completely wrap it up in the image. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, like my friend, keep wrapping it up. Keep the funk going. Keep rolling. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> that is Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was getting too hard and I was getting afraid. Now I feel like I can continue. All right, Haas. Then we're going to gently, like a baby, try to smooth the roll out, like in the image. Touch it gently. Oh my God. <laughs> Spread the remain sauce over the potatoes roll. <laughs> try it with a fork. With a fork, try and make these lines. <laughs> try to make these lines. <laughs> <laughs> to the fridge yeah. for an hour to become more firm. <laughs> Then voila, shut the front door. It, it mo the more it rests in fridge, the more it tastes become delicious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Step 19, check out this bombastic Swiss roll. Oh Let's look God, at that cross section. The picture. Delicious. Good. Wow. Oh God. There's something really wrong with that pineapple. <laughs> Can't That's believe you invited lovely. me again. And I believe we have just enough time for. No, we don't. No, we really don't. <laughs> oh, dear. We, we must go now. So you will not hear about Pringle Buena Vistas. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, bon appetito, everyone. Yay! 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 Guy Ferrari will be driving through your window at any time. <laughs> <laughs> Crash it like the Yay. queen. Uh, in the next hour, uh, Toast is going to uh, help us uh, kill Barney. Um, yeah. Oh, good. I first oh, yeah. learned this hour. Uh, my girlfriend is Legos. See you soon.